Hey, everybody. Welcome to The Perfect Pair. I'm Tangerine. I'm Marty. And let me say that again. I am Tangerine. That she means is Tangerine. Please reference me as Tangerine, and I shall remember to reference myself that. She is Tangerine. <laughs> I mean, I sit here for almost a whole year, and y'all get right here and be like, ah! Like no, I'll be forgetting not, not to use my real name. That's though, so not, not who I'm sitting next to right now. So hey, so, yeah. everybody, <laughs> welcome to the perfect pair. So yeah, that was y'all know how that y'all know how that whole yeah, piece no, goes. I, I so we have a great show today. I'm I think hot it's today always. now. I turned. I did turn. Up. How did Tangerine? I don't know. I don't know. I I'm did. not. I'm not. I'm not running that part. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> um. That so. Part. We're going to get started. We're going to get started with the drinks, the shake yes. and enjoy. Yes, the shake and enjoy drink today. Oh, she said, hold, she, hold, on. hold on. I'm, I'm moving, moving too fast. I'm moving too fast. Okay. okay. This is our shake and enjoy. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it over to Marty. Okay. So today we are going to have... Um, a full moon teeny mm. and this is a gin based cocktail and I, you see the recipe here i am enjoying this right here because now i don't have to have my phone open when this stuff go down oh so you're making it up <laughs> yeah you can keep it up it's one two one half one half i could do that one two one half one half okay so oh, i guess they do need to see this huh yeah let me okay. show them so wait a minute. Jesus. So wait a minute, Jesus. Okay. So what we did was, what we did, what I did was I infused some gin with activated charcoal, okay? Y'all know I like a black cocktail, so mm. that's what we gonna do. And because my co-host is already came in here reprimanding me about the amount that we having. It didn't look like a lot. It didn't look like a lot. And y'all know, I do like to indulge in more than one, especially because her cocktails are so delicious. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. And it would not do you justice by just having one. I want thank the people you. to know <laughs> the deliciousness that we are partaking in. Okay. Partaking. Partaking. Yeah. partaking. Yeah. So y'all know I like regular old Everfresh, and it's just regular Everfresh pineapple juice. I'm sorry, y'all. And um, funny story, when I went out this weekend, um, I ordered something and the bartender thought she was just going to throw some stuff together. I ended up making my own drink at the bar. So needless to say, didn't work out well for her. What did you make? A vodka sour. I never heard of that until Wednesday when we went live. Yeah. I'm thinking the vodka sour is vodka and sweet and sour. It, that's what it was. She sour. thought it was vodka and uh, lemonade. And I said, girl, give me the give me the stuff. Just give me the stuff. So I had that and then I got like I made I made two helpings. Two helpings. So I need mm -hmm. I need two ounces of this. Two ounces. That yeah. works for me. Because I made a double for both of us, okay? Oh, thank you, Marty. You know I love you so <laughs> I made a double for both of us. Y'all know I'll be here just just sipping away. Hey, Virgie. Hey, girl. I'll just be here sipping away. She'd be like, okay, and the next one. I'm like, You got your drink, Virgie? I ain't got there yet. And did you notice what I did this week, too? Every week I found her something new. I don't even have to post the comments anymore. See? It's going to pop up. <laughs> I am learning. I am about to start engineering everybody's show. Y'all didn't let me get another talent. Okay, so there's no ice in there because... And we get the big balls. <laughs> I mean, because that's the only way to go, right? What like, movie was that? It was like, them King Kong sacks. <laughs> no, I missed that movie. I missed that movie. I, I really did. I'm sorry. <laughs> what movie was I don't know. Somebody in the audience tell me because talk about King Kong. They was like these King Kong's ass balls. What was it? I don't know. Uh, somebody help me out. Somebody help her. Oh, and then we go top it off with some soda water. Yes. Or club soda, whatever. Club soda. So then. 
Ooh. Ooh. So it's still some more in here, lady, okay? Okay, great. <laughs> still some more in here. When I get low. Get and then, low, get low. Oh, I like the little layer look. What's that? Because it's not. Ooh. I'm excited about this, everybody. Okay. So, so and that is. <laughs> I like a black drink. I do too. I do too. I mean, because you don't see them often. So, um, you know, just something new. Something new for the people. It will be in um, Shake and Enjoy more. That's oh, coming I'm soon. Hold on. <laughs> My I'm... phone been on video <laughs> since yesterday. <laughs> okay, thank you. That was good. <laughs> All right, let's cheers. You ready? I am ready. So, the perfect pair. The perfect pair. This is dangerous because yeah, because it don't it don't taste it don't. I don't taste it. <laughs> I don't taste any liquor. Oh my. I don't taste no liquor. Did you really? Like, was that really liquor in there? Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Y'all know I like to taste my alcohol. Y'all know when the drinks kick in. Y'all know I like to taste my alcohol. This, 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 this blazer not going to work today. It's hot. Oh, take it off. It's hot in here ooh, today. Ooh, it's it hot. It is hot in here today. It is hot. It's getting so, yeah. hot in here. So, yeah. And we got our waters this week. We um, you know, the last couple weeks we've been missing the water so so we won't try to get too drunk so we won't so that's yeah. a big try so that is all i have um for shake and enjoy i hope you all um recreated the cocktail at home and if you didn't do it today at some point just give it a try or you can just wait until the book come out you can try all of all 127 of them Oh, 127 cocktails. Oh, 127 mm. cocktails. I'm ready to do that. <laughs> so, Who's yeah. with me? Who's going to take this challenge and we do maybe like two a week? Like three a week. Two and a half. <laughs> like, two, like what is two and a half drinks? Like the, I don't know. The favorite so, of like, the week? One week we'll do three in one week. The next week we'll do two. We'll like switch it off depending on how our weeks are. Okay. I, I won't be taking the challenge. Y'all know I'm always drinking it. You don't want to take the challenge with me so we can do like, oh, this is weak and this is this. Because y'all don't get the same reaction out of me that y'all always get out of me. I enjoy all, I, I like a good mixture. I am not, I am not just pouring alcohol in a red cup anymore. Like I need the stuff to be there so it can be nice and even and balanced. Mm. So yeah, that's where I am. I got like, you. All right. So. With that being said. Yes, with that being said. Let's see what's happening with She's Press Nails. She's Press. Oh, why I do I keep saying? I keep, I keep thinking you're going to break out in like soul glow or something. Like, I don't have a soul. I don't have a soul. <laughs> but okay, so She's pressed the set of the week. Uh -huh. Ooh, oh, this is called The Cosmopolitan. No. So this started off as a custom set. Okay. Um, one of my clients sent me over this picture and was like, can you make me some press on ones like this? And I okay. said, well, I'll add my little flair to it. And I absolutely love I it. I love it. I, I really like this set. I think it's just, you know, because it's a mix of, like, it's all stripes and then going right. like one way and the other way. So I like it. I, I do like it. I want to freak it out a little bit. I'm thinking, what if I did it, like, with Christmas colors, or maybe like have some real thin stripes and then some fat stripes. Like, I don't know. I like the idea of dots. I have dots on the set. So, okay. yes, this is, um, this is this. So, this is the Cosmopolitan. Okay. Nothing really new. Actually, today I have on some demo nails. Okay. That I'm trying to see if I would like to add to my collection. Okay. So, these it's are like different. a hollow. Yeah, like the holographic nails. Okay. It's so, cute. yeah, I put them on. I had them on yesterday. He wants to be cute. And so I've been wearing them. So they've been holding up pretty well. So I may add these to the website. So y'all, you all know, um, when the mood strikes me, I do wear my She's Press nails. Um, but I have been lately looking at new nail techniques. Mm. 
And I like this negative space thing. Tell me more. What is this? So the negative space is just like they'll put like color at the top or color at the bottom, but you can still see the natural nail under. You like that? I like it. Like, do you like it on all the nails? No, like nail? no. Like, I only like it on all the nails. Really? What, yes, because then it gives it a more abstract look. Then it look like a Dalmatian. But it, it does more than just a one nail on each hand. No, it? not just one nail. Like, I don't know. It's just like different, different patterns or whatever. But I like. Well, I we do can like make that. some cheese. I do with like that, that idea. I do like. Come on with the colors. I got you. I will. And now that I've told the world, my it's gonna be called the Marty. <laughs> Marty Adi, don't run off goodness. with my stuff, y'all. Don't run off with my stuff. Hey, my beautiful cousin. So yeah. So that's where we are. That's where we are. Okay. So it's good. It's like I want to keep and drinking it, but she told me it's vodka. It's, it's um, like Janet. it's layered. It's layered in the glass, and it doesn't taste strong. No. So I'm gonna probably have a nap after. I know I'm gonna have a nap after the show. I know I know. Thank you so I, much. I for... like this. I don't know how you figured it out, but I like these comments. That I don't up. even have to change I like them. These comments and you can up. see them at all times. I like it. I like it. So now let's go into the what's pop. I think I'm done. This is sad. This is, it's the bar. It's the big bar. <laughs> Made yeah. it. So I went I, after this second drink. I'm just gonna drink water for the rest of the show. <laughs> Here. She's talking about, I think I'm done. Yes, you do need to see me. I do don't like that we are. Maybe a logo I'll try to put on the other side next Okay, week. well, yeah. Because it's cutting off the top now. Okay. But okay. that's just, sorry, that's behind the scenes. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to our next section, which is... What's popping? What's popping? Marty, what's popping in your world? So... Yeah, let's let's keep it real. We're not gonna go into like pop culture. I lost my driver's license the other day. I was just about to say, like, I lost my virginity. <laughs> I, was about to say, oh, what the whole stuff? I lost my driver's license. Hey, hey. Um, I lost my driver's license the other day and I didn't notice it until I was going to do something else. Mm -hmm. And if you know me, I don't like losing stuff in my house. Cause I, I'm going to tear this mother up. I'm going to tear it up until I find it. Exactly. Sorry. Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> how you, how, you, how I feel. Mm -hmm. But so I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to hold an investigation to find out where my driver's license is. And I get an email that says, Hey, you lost your license. You can come pick it up from here. And this is my phone number. Number one, how did the person get my email address? Yeah, because it's not on your driver's license. Not on my driver's license. Wait a minute, let's get deeper. Did they know you? They did not know me. They did not know did me. Did they see you on the show and said, <gasps> I thought that too. But then the person told me that they Googled me. And I don't know if y'all have ever Googled yourself, but do it. Because when he Googled me, the first re result that came up was for my LinkedIn profile. He got mm. my email address from my LinkedIn profile. Mm. So just be aware, because I was like, this stranger danger, stranger danger. Like, mm, he got too much of my information already. He know everything about me. Like, I'm just glad he didn't pull up to the house. Oh, that would have been that, creepy. That would have freaked like me Like Diamond, I watch you come home every night. <laughs> I, that would have freaked me all the way out, okay? But <gasps> my LinkedIn came up first, too. Look, at look. Oh, them ain't pictures of me. That's them not pictures of you? No, that ain't me. That ain't my Instagram. That's my Pinterest. Okay. Ooh. So, yes, everybody Google, Google yourself. yourself. Just Google yourself and see what. What comes like you know? Because you need. I feel like everybody needs to know. Because what if that's not the email that I wanted somebody to have? Right. It's a white lady named Chandra Jones with an A. Oh, I can't <laughs> say my whole name. <laughs> she said, "Wait a minute." And um, once again, <laughs> I'm Tangerine. <laughs> that's Tangerine. <laughs> I'm just here. Ah! I'm Marty. <laughs> Delicious. I'm Marty. Oh. For Pete's sake. 
wait, we just gave a whole tutorial <laughs> on this. Uh, and she comes right out the, the gate. Uh, and, and why you didn't the, hit me? Why you didn't hit me or something? So it's like it's your fault. Oh. Because if you would have hit me, it w I wouldn't have said anything. I wouldn't know. So I just Googled my name. Yes. Come and say hey. I would love that, cousin. I Googled my name and look. College <laughs> They trying to sell some college with you. So, ah, wait. It, I got to say this. It says book author, shaking and joy. That's, that's some saying. good stuff. That's you need to just saying. like screenshot that's it. That's what it say. But it's the Malia Wilson. She a flight attendant out of for Alaska Airlines. Yeah, mm, I did have my job, but I didn't want to say that on TV. Your book came up. Yes. I got to figure out how to get she's pressed on this. Come on, I'm, I'm doing my because I don't use my real name. Yes, and her real name is Tangerine mm -hmm. on this broadcast. It is. I keep forgetting that's my name. So yeah, that's that's what came up. That's interesting. So everybody, Google you. Oh, Google yeah. you. Google yourself. Okay, you I guess it is some gin in this. I guess it is, you know, like, <laughs> because I'm starting to feel good. And mm, that's okay. all I can say. And the images, those are me. Those are me. Those are you on the images. My images didn't come up me. Okay. You got to update yourself. I'm sad. Oh, your whole age, address, phone number. That was my mama's house number down there. He said that. He said when he called the number, he said the number he was. Called the he number. called now the this, number. He called the number. Stop. Stop. He called the number. So. Everybody, she lost her license if you're just tuning in. Yes. And somebody found her on, they Googled her to be able to email her. But they did say they called the number that they found online. If you found somebody's license, what's the extent that you would go to get, for them to get it back? I mean, just mail it back to them. Right. I mean, we don't even need to have contact. So, I had somebody, I was robbed one time and they took like my whole purse. Mm -hmm. And I had somebody put my purse in the mail and it came to me. It was all muddy and stuff. It had everything but my cash. And they just wrote a little note and said, I found this under the bridge on 75. Wow. And I was just like, oh my God. That's where I was robbed near the bridge. 75. And they just dropped They took stuff. the money, probably threw the purse out. And kept it moving, and for some reason, somebody was walking under that bridge, going somewhere, and found the full purse. It was a designer purse too, and I was excited to get it back. <laughs> and I just, and I was excited. Too. Yeah, I just had to get the strap fixed. I um I I have been fortunate enough where somebody hasn't tried to snatch my bag. Maybe they don't be knowing what my bags be when I come outside. But girl, it was a whole fight that ensued. <laughs> You fought them back? Yes, because so let me let me let me take it. Let me just give you the whole story. Kyra, you let her fight them back. She wasn't with oh, me. Lord. You just wanted to let somebody just. I didn't know what was going on. So let me get. Let what me. What you thought it was playing tug of war? Let me let me create the scene and you tell okay. me how you would have reacted. Okay. It's broad daylight. Mm -hmm. MLK Day. I'm off of work. I'm like 20. I was my first year teaching. Okay. So I'm all fancy because I'm about to go to Fairlane. I'm about to go shop. I remember I had on a fur coat, my Gucci loafers, my young. I love Detroit shirt, she my jeans. Young. And I had a fake ponytail with my, guess, my Gucci glasses. So she was young. Driving my Hyundai Sonata, thinking I was sweet. I picked up my Nana to take her to CVS to get her medicine. Mm -hmm. She had just got out the hospital. Mm -hmm. So I'm illegally parked in front. And I open the door to talk to her. I walk in. I come back out and say, Nana, what am I supposed to get again? And I see somebody out of my peripheral lunging at me. I didn't even turn. I just saw them lunging. I closed the door on my Nana. And then I turned. And they were literally coming. And then I just hit. Like, I swung. And I turned around. And I'm running. I'm running to the door, which is like six feet away. But for some reason, I was running. He... Like, grab my ponytail. It jerked me back, but it came out. So I'm still running. I'm still running. I'm still running. Then this fool hits me on the back. I trip, but I'm still running. It's like I'm running forever. And I said it was like it's six, six feet. feet away. I'm finally at the um, automatic door. Mm -hmm. It doesn't open. Mom, I'm live. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm live. You know it's 2 o'clock. Um... 
<laughs> I'm at the door and it's not open. So I'm pushing on the door. He turns me around and like got me by my collar. And I'm just like, ah! So I hit him with the two piece. Woo, woo. Cause I'm thinking I'm Layla Ali. <laughs> this fool says, he hit me so hard in the face. Oh, I just fell out. The door opened and I fall on the floor. It was so dramatic, like only a scene that I could do. And I just, <sighs> and while my arms were up in the air, he, he just grabbed my purse. No, it had, cause maybe the strap wasn't torn. Yeah, cause he just grabbed my purse mm -hmm. and just fled away into the world. And this old lady was screaming across the street and she ran over and said, I saw everything that happened. So when was you going to come out, ma'am? She wasn't. She was old. And oh. it was a big guy. He was big. And he knocked the shit out of me with that one punch. And I had a black eye. He broke my glasses. And my fur coat was torn. I Yeah, it was a lot of damage done. So Jeez. I don't understand. I'm hmm. sorry that happened. Man. So, and this was when I was in my 20s. So... I don't understand, but we got to have the sound effect so you all can really feel it. And what made me so mad after that? My Nana said, well, Tangerine, did he take the money for my medicine? And I said, no, that's in my pocket. So I pull it out and I see what she wrote on there. So you didn't even really have to come back. I did not. And you know what the medicine was? What? Some iron pills. I didn't got almost killed for some iron pills. This was not her emergency. Hello, it was some iron pills. I was so hurt. I was so. I called my parents. They were at the dentist. They came over frantically. Like we all at CBS. My daddy looking for the guy because I remember the van that he was in and how he looked. I gave a full description to the police. No one found them, but they returned my purse with no money. And my poppy reimbursed me the money that I had in my purse when I was going shopping. Okay. So. I, I'm, I'm truly sorry. I'm no. truly sorry to hear that. Hey, Papa Jay. Tell mama, uh, don't call me and I'm in the show. Kyra, I didn't have my CPL at that time. Sorry. But now I have my CPL. I, but would I have been ready? Think about that. No. No, you would like, not. I mean, because actually, and maybe just because I'm just, I'm, I'm always leery of people walking around me. I'm just always leery. I don't be know I what, I don't know what kind of bag they be coming out of. I don't look, I don't even care if they, you know, are mentally deficient some type of way, you know, mm -hmm. they might spit or what. I, I, I don't want no parts of them. I'm giving them whole sidewalks and everything. No, but I I have never, I, I wouldn't, I would not have fought him. I would, I would. You know what? And usually I always say like, I wouldn't fight someone. But when it happens, I'm telling y'all, when you in the moment of certain stuff, you don't know how you'll react. And just to see somebody lunging at you, you're going to react in a way like, huh? Like, I don't know how people react when people just startle them and lunge at them. Mm -hmm take off running and you see that they chasing you and you see they pulling your hair so obviously they trying to get you for some reason for some but reason. they haven't told you so mm -hmm. like if he would have had a gun to my head like hey give me the purse mm -hmm. you would i would have gave him the purse <laughs> she said i would have gave him the purse but he didn't ask for it like ask for what you want no when i did get robbed it was i wouldn't say it was brutal but it was for a chain, and the chain was so mm. thick. The chain was so thick, and the way he was just yanking it, like he thought it was going to break. Mm -hmm. And, like, he trying to pull it off my neck, and I'm like, it ain't going to, you're not going to get it that way. So I'm steady trying to do this. He thinking I'm trying to hold on to it, and that's I end up getting cut by the charm. So it's mm, on. It's funny. I'm looking like, is she bleeding right mm -mm. now? What's no, I got cut by the charm. So... Mm. We finally figured out, like, I'm trying to give him the chain, like, here, so you can leave me alone. And then he, you know, scurried on down the alleys. And I was just like, wow. So, yeah, people suck when they do this, stuff like that. I don't like Did that, that make you scared? 
it didn't make me scared, but I'm even more, I'm hyper vigilant when I'm in the street. Now I am too. I'm extra cautious. Like, like I don't care. Little so kid, far. little kid. <laughs> so Anybody can care. get Oh, people, I don't care. I like, might be trying to rob me. Listen. I don't know. I, yeah. It, yes, I, I was scared straight. Got my CPL, you know, like to go to the range often to make sure I'm ready. Uh, I did almost run my neighbor over one time because, again, I tell you, I'm scary. And I do watch all my surroundings yeah. at night. And they came out. The neighbor came out. They walked you. up to me while I drove in the garage oh, at no. night car went in reverse so scandalous because you about to, you about to get listen, smashed because i gotta go i you would have thought i was going 50 miles per hour listen out my driveway. we didn't watch the episodes of first 48 you're not about to come up in this you garage not, and get me now uh -uh. so she ended up having to like flail her arms and it's me it's me Henry. and i got off the car and cuss my neighbor out. And she's you my mama's age. You have to. But she had to get it because you, you just scared to. the shit out of me. And you just almost lost your life for like 70 fast cents. Oh, wow. Yeah. I digress. So, yeah. So, that 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 was that. Yeah. That was okay. So, sorry. Yeah. So, that's yeah, that's our story. That's our story. <laughs> story. Oh, how was your event? You were talking about a masquerade party last year. Last year. Last week. <laughs> so, the masquerade party. Why is this TV frozen right now? I don't know. It's making me so mad. I don't know. But the masquerade party, um, it was nice. Okay. Um, some people didn't get the memo to wear a mask, to even you know dress, you know, take it up a notch when you come to the event. Oh, I hate that. So you know, once. Once we saw a Victoria's Secret pink jogging suit walk through the door. Oh, yeah. okay. Gladys had to go. And for all of you that don't know, when it get nighttime, I call myself Gladys because she be tired. I'm packing up. It's time to go home, kids. Um, but um, there was, you know, I told you all before, I ended up making my own drinks at the thing because, you know, they didn't know what they were doing. And um, the music, I remember the music from when I used to be in the streets. Mm -hmm. So it was no new jams. But when you used to be in the street, my girl. You know, these were the same jams. So I knew all the words. <laughs> and um, it's like, hmm. Gladys could have had more fun. Yeah, she could have. She should have been, like, having fun. Like, um, Shaka Khan was having. Shaka hey. Khan had the time of her life. <laughs> like, I tell you. Like, Hey, maybe that would have made it better if I had it just Hello. Go. Oh, we haven't seen you in forever. Um maybe maybe a little zoom zoom a wow one would have made it better, but I still would have been ready to come home. And I was sitting in the club, girl, with a whole carry out dish of shrimp and grits in my purse. Like what? if I could just find a fork. I was on and pop. This is all the entertainment. If I could have found me a on. fork, I would have been like, Yep, all right, y'all do whatever. Mm, yeah, I did see some some of my friends there. You know, okay, yeah, that was it. I can dig that. Okay. So, speaking of what I did this weekend, if you have been paying attention to the World Wide Web and Tangerine's page, what's all your boy do? No, no, no. Tangerine flew over downtown Detroit. <laughs> I was looking down on these hoes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See, what, I was like, look at her. Look at her. So, how was that experience? I just kept thinking, we fly high. <laughs> so, huh? We bullet. <laughs> like, that song was playing. It was fun. We went on the helicopter ride. Okay. It was actually amazing. I thought I was going to be afraid because mm -hmm. I'm afraid of heights. If no one ever knew that. No. Like, I, I don't do roller coasters. Um, I cried when I went parasailing. I never watched the takeoff of an airplane. Um, so what do you do? Like, I have to keep my eyes closed until I feel that we have leveled up. Leveled up. And then I'm good. I can look down. I can look at the clouds. I can watch us descend, but I can't watch us go up. So I thought this was going to be crazy. The lady explained everything. Um and it it was great it was it was 
It was perfect. You had a lady pilot? No, the lady, like when we went to the stand. Okay. Um, like so the ticket counter. Okay. Okay. So uh it So was you amazing. buy the tickets there? No, they had made reservations. So uh when we got there, the lady was just like, Can I have the card that reserved the oh, flight? Shucks, no. So, you know. It was reserved. So yep. So then, Ooh, you know, wait. then they weigh you. Because it's a weight limit. And so they were like, anything you want to take on the airplane? So I had like my coat in my hand. And she was like, do you want to take your coat? I said, well, I'm thinking it's cold up there. She was like, it's heated inside. So they took my coat and I just had my purse. And I was like, well, they're not about to see my weight. And she was like, no, they don't see it. So she was like, just me. And then you stand, they check and they're like, okay, you're good. Next. And then they stand, they check. Okay, y'all good. Let's go fly. Go watch the video. Safety, and I didn't even watch the safety video. We was running our mouth, and I was like, "I hope nothing happens because I know not to jump. That's all I know, and I'm just gonna be still." And that was it. And I sit here as your friend, as you say, "We." Stop smiling at me. <laughs> That's what you. Oh my god! Me. No, it's different. But it's me. <laughs> so this is the really so. <laughs> So back to the topic we had a few weeks ago when she said she was done. Remember when she said she was done? Look at that bang. Look at this bang, baby. Give it give it up for the bang. Okay. The bang. So you done? With the bang? No. With what? the dating. Oh. <laughs> I enjoyed my evening. And then we went to dinner. That's what I'm talking about. Was mm -hmm. it any coffee, ice cream, walks in the, by the river? No, no, and no. Who drinks coffee? I'm not a coffee oh. drinker. And if I'm drinking liquor, I'm not going to drink ice cream. And do you know the temperature was frigid? I'm not walking in the cold. So the date had two parts. Three. Okay. Never mind. Okay. That's my kind of date. No, it wasn't like, no. But like after that, then we... Like did like tequila tasting. We're not really tequila tasting. We're just tasting like one tequila, but I like to call it tasting instead of just well, that's three parts. Have yeah, a shot. I said, did you have coffee, ice cream? We like, had tequila so it was after something everything. after dinner. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's three parts. I like it. I like it. It was fun. Kudos. So kudos to the person that planned that. That was got an A in my book. So um, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> I feel the heat is going. I don't like to talk about both. Um, them grits, them shrimp grits was not going to spill out in my purse. You know what's so funny? I had shrimp and grits too at dinner. We went to um, Savannah Blue. Yes! I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. That's just only the best place to go. Oh, yeah. This, wait, was, this, wait, was, a good, this was a good time. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. It scared shit out of me. What's going on? I don't understand. We had, I had the shrimp and grits. And he had to like the, it's like salmon, jambalaya or something. So. Oh, this was a good one. Take notes, people. That was a good one. We fly. I'm so impressed. Uh, we balling. I am impressed. Mm. Well, I said what I said. <laughs> I like it. I don't I like it. So let's get on with our topic. I know. <laughs> I didn't wait. I didn't start to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the spotlight like that. That was good. Um, I appreciate it. So we're just going to talk about the topic. Okay. What is the topic? Hold on. Let me find the topic. The topic I am really sweating, though. The topic. I didn't push the people. wrong stuff. <laughs> the topic, people, is. <laughs> Where is the line? We need to know as two single women dating out here, because she's she's back dating. Um, two single Where women. Where am I going on my next date? Who's taking me on my next date? Who? <laughs> when are the dates? Okay, let's get serious. Let's get serious. Topic. <laughs> the topic is drawing a line. So let me tell y'all where this topic originated from. Yes. Having a conversation with a male friend. And they say, you know, the problem some people have, let's say women, is women do wife things when they not a wife and girlfriend things when they only kicking it. 
So make sure you don't start doing girlfriend things if y'all haven't talked about you being a girlfriend, boyfriend, and don't do, if you with somebody, don't do wife things if you're just girlfriend, boyfriends. So what are what are those the things? girlfriend things and what are the wife things because we discussed this wednesday for the people that tuned in to our uh throwback mc's nail bar on wednesday it used to be that you know wife things were you know you don't sleep with a person that's passe now in real life because we all know the flesh is weak the flesh is weak and I'm gonna get that thing if I want it. You're so gonna, you're gonna wait for it, but you're gonna get it. It's gonna gotta wait. How long you gotta wait? It depends. Like I don't know. Different subject. Okay, okay, go ahead. Um. So, um. So, what are we doing now? Like, are we cooking meals? Are we? What are we doing? Like, I left that conversation kind of confused because I'm like, okay, hmm, I don't get it. But let me let me think. So they should be one in the same. That's how you do it. Yeah. So what I'm thinking. Somebody, I have posted this on my page as well to get mm-hmm. some insight. Yes. And someone has said, like, don't start doing, like, retirement, combining bills and all this kind of stuff. I, to me, I'm not thinking of going that far. No. We're, we're not going to combine any credit. We're not going to do no. anything on that level as girlfriend, no. boyfriend. Now, engaged and then married, we can talk about all that stuff. Yes. But girlfriend, boyfriend, no, that's not it. We're not talking about insurance. Nothing like that. Um, But, like, I was thinking of, okay, cooking. If, Should we be cooking for these men that we're dating? Dating, so this this gets tricky. You because it's dating girlfriend and wife. Wait a minute, is it is dating girlfriend fiance then wife? See now, I combine the fiance and the wife. You do. Yeah. What if you never make it to here? Then then you go back to single. Like you don't be a fiance for like ever, isn't it? Like a time limit on it? I don't think so. I thought my ring expired after three hundred and sixty five days uh, as a fiance. People out in the audience. Day. People in the audience. Is there a timeline <laughs> on the engagement? I thought it dissolves after like a year with no Or it should get an upgrade. You should get an upgrade if it's beyond. But is there a date? See, we're going off on too many topics. I don't know. We we can go off on tangents forever. I don't know. Oh, my God. I want one last drink, please. I I don't know. So (laughs) you all have to help us out. So, oh, so do you cook when you're dating? Yeah, I do. Do you cook a lot? No, I don't. I cook when I'm dating, but I don't cook a lot. Do I cook when I'm dating, really? Well, I don't cook at all in real life. (laughs) So if I'm cooking for someone, it's not for just someone that I'm casually dating. I have to really be feeling you. You know what I'm saying? I Cooking is a big deal for me. Cooking is a big deal, but I only cook. I only cook for the word. By, by, right. By Your worthiness determines where my domestic level is with you. I'd rather go out to eat and I say, hey, I treat. Uh, me and check boxes. Oh, well, what boxes y'all checking? Well, we need. I'll be fresh. We trying to get help. We trying to understand. Like, we trying to help because it, it has been brought to our attention that we are here as the voice of the single <laughs> The single ladies out here. They really they look yeah. to us to some, get the feedback from, from y'all. y'all. Oh, we was in unison. We so cute. Cause it's a real thing. <laughs> they counting on us. <laughs> what the hand at? <laughs> like um who would cook clean, huh? You say that's way now cleaning Tamara? I am not cleaning no gas house. So when I was out yesterday, I did ask this question. I said And what they said. They was like, I mean, yeah, like to cook and clean. I said, okay, I get cooking. What about cleaning? Well, if I mean, you gonna be over there, or maybe some girls like to clean their guys' house because they be looking around for stuff. So you never know. But it's nothing wrong with it. I've never, never, ever in the land of neveration, clean a guy's house. Now I would, let's say I'm at his house and I'm cooking something. Or he may be cooking. I may wash a dish while he cooking or something. 
I don't know. That's never you happened. Do, but you do no cleaning. No cleaning at right. all. So here, this is where you learn this dichotomy between the two of us. I am a cleaner. Mm. I am. You go go over his house and clean. Yeah. Mm. I like the fresh, uh, clean smell of Clorox. Mm. And um, if he got a load that he need to throw in the washer, I'll do it. Mm. Um, I make beds. Mm. You know, yeah. You making beds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, mean, I have I, fell short of the glory. I wish I, I don't even make my bed. What I look like making somebody else's bed? What 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 does that look like? I did have someone ask me. So you not no, they said, oh, you could have made the bed or something of that nature. And my response was, I don't make my bed. But they used to make my bed. Mm. So, but if you know I don't make beds, why do you expect the bed make it at your house by me? Mm. Let's think about that, everybody. Mm. Think about it. Why would you expect me to make your bed and I don't make my bed? I don't care if you make my bed. I'm not making your bed. It makes sense to me. No, but it's, but it's nice. Ooh, cooking is a personalized thing. It is. It is. I mean, it's just cooking. It's just cooking. Like, it's, it. But once again, we go back to my topic where my my statement that it depends on the person. If your worthiness not there, you know. Hey, seventeen year old say, uh, if he respects you, the home will be clean. So it should be clean when you get over there. So why are you cleaning somebody's house? Oh, what? Huh? They said it should be clean when you get over there. I'll be, sh I was about to say, I'll be sure. And I'll be <laughs> said, you have to make it so what he's getting from you, he's not getting from anyone else. Well, he sure ain't getting the house clean. I, I, so to the, to the 17 year old, um, there are, there are instances where someone is a hard worker. <laughs> someone is a hard worker and they just need a little assistance. And I know you're going to get there one day in your life where work is going to eat you alive. And you're going to be looking at stuff like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then maybe you're just going to have a rendezvous or a little, you know, geechy, geechy, ya ya with a young lady. And she's going to come over and she's going to be very nice and say, let me help him out. Because I, he's so she not he, working. He, she not know, tired. She, but guess what? She what? know that this man been working and she know. Then she gonna be like, you know what, baby? Don't even clean up. It's straight. It's not even that bad. Clean up when you not tired. And maybe she won't have OCD like me. <laughs> maybe maybe you could pray for that, nephew. <laughs> that she does not have OCD like me. And I don't want to see the clothes in the hamper. I just want to. You don't want to see clothes in the hamper. At least they're not on the floor. Oh, my God. Marty, my house would <laughs> completely throw you into a fit. <laughs> he said. Because she like, was talking to you all condescending. <laughs> Tell her to boss up. You 17. You out here in these streets. You understand life. I really don't. It's not. Don't even talk like that to my nephew. He almost a grown man. He's 17. He needs to know what, what to expect. But don't really be expecting don't a girl to like clean your dorm room or nothing. Yeah, but if she do that, she But if she do, she just I ain't never clean the guy's dorm room. You. She like you. She does. And that's the other thing. Like, I don't do stuff for just, oh, I'm going to let y'all all of me in my business. But I really like you if I do some domestic stuff. I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> he talking about he not far from 10. <laughs> I really like you if I do some domestic stuff. If I cook, if I cook, clean anything, I really like you. I mean, that's true. Because the other time I just I sit outside. I don't I'm care. not cooking for anybody I don't like. But then I'm not continuously dating someone I don't like. No. And you gotta think when we're just getting to know each other, we're not gonna be at my house like that. We're gonna be out. That's how we we gonna talk and we're gonna be out. I'll live by myself. I'm not about to just have every guy that like me come this to my is house true. this is true i'm not about to have every guy that i go out with come to my house no i will meet you there i have no problem with meeting somebody someplace yes this is true i didn't drive this today though hey sorry uh, <laughs> I, I just had to throw that in um oh my god 
outside, not cooking and cleaning. Be on time, mother. Don't, don't hi, Mama Jones. Don't be like that. So yeah. So yeah. So that's what we're trying to figure out. What's Where, the last? What? So married people, Mama Kyra, y'all married. What? What do we need to be like? Okay, don't do this if you're not that girlfriend. Should I not be answering the phone? Should I not be readily available? People say that, but if I want to talk to you, I want to talk to you. I'm the type of person, I like talking. If he texts, I'm going to respond to the text. I'm not going to be like, oh, I just responded to the last two texts on time, so let me make them wait. Absence make the heart grow fonder. If I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk. Why we just stopped to read? I don't know. We both did because she because she came in with a whole day. Oh, Kyra was defending her baby like he's not far from 10. Oh, this is I his mama. Oh boy. <laughs> mama Bear is on the loose. But still, like, I don't even know what I was talking about. We were talking about um people coming to the house. People Oh yeah, I'm not letting people come to my house. Yeah, no. But so what what do I need to draw the line? I'm making plates. Do you make plates? No, ma'am. I don't make no plates. Huh? That's just... But what if, if you're cooking? You know I'm cooking. You hungry? Come on. I want to eat when you eat. Flat out. Now, if you don't, you don't want me to wait for, you don't want to wait, you want your food before I get mine, then we should go to the restaurant. And then everybody get their food at the same time. What, Marty? Yeah. Because I'm not going back in the kitchen to get my plate. No. And I'm not making both of them and uh, holding them holding them up so I can bring them in here to you. I ain't doing that either. You want a waitress? We go to the restaurant. <laughs> Marty, that sounds crazy. I'm going to make a plate. No, I don't make no plate. If you're at my house and I'm cooking, I'm making a plate. If you, we are at a family function for my family, I'm making a plate. Oh, no. Not in front of my kinfolk. You won't. Mm -mm. What? Mm -mm. Get up, Sylvester. Get up. You're not about to be walking <laughs> through my kinfolk kitchen and making your own plate. Yes, you are. You done came to my kinfolk house. Come on. Uh-uh. Sit right there, Get sir. Get in line, sir. And I will make your plate. Sir. Because when I go to his people house, Sir. I'm going to sit right there and he's going to make my plate at his people house. Sir, that microwave don't work. Use that one over there. <sighs> yes, don't. Yeah, sir. Sir, the food. Thank you, Kyra. The food is back there. No, Marty. I disagree with you. Oh, that's, that's fine. Kyra wants to know, can she call in on my cell phone? <laughs> people can hear you. It's fine if Faith make the play. <laughs> I, we, I always be making exceptions to my mom and sister. What's up? Hello, you're on the air caller. Okay. Yes, I just want to say, now, I'm married. You're married. I've been with my husband since I was 14. Okay. We did take a break. However, you do have to treat the one who you think is it. Like, I knew he was it. I did fix his plate. Um, Turn I your TV down. As far as cooking and cleaning, I didn't cook it. I didn't, I didn't clean his, his plate. I cleaned my house. Right. Um, I cooked. I would make his plate. You know, I would do certain things. However, I wasn't giving him... Everything I wasn't giving him the cow when he get the milk for free. But what what weren't you giving him? What is the cow? You're not answering that question. You cooking? Okay. Because he gonna get he gonna get this milk. If I wanted to go out with my girlfriends, I went out with my friends. There wasn't no discussion between me and him if I was going out. Oh. If I wanted to spend my money, I spent my money. If I wanted whatever I wanted to do as a single woman, I did. Um, I, I will tell him no. Uh, if he expected, like, if he came over a lot every day, no, I wouldn't cook every day. Because I'm not your wife. Some days you're going to walk in here with a meal. Or you can cook. But I'm not cooking, and I'm going to be honest, legs ain't open every time you want them open either when you're not married. 
This ain't no open house where every time you come in, legs open, food cooked, your house clean. Oh, no. Sometimes you have to not be available when he wants you to be available. You have to be unavailable sometimes. The man, if he loves you and want to be with you, he's going to make that effort to call you, to see you, to give you what you need, to provide for you. He's going to make that effort. If he don't call, he don't want to be bothered. If he call you at 2, 3 o'clock at night all the time, that's what he wants. All this texting, I'm a grown-ass woman. Don't text me, call me. Okay. Tell me, hello, how you doing? You know, if a man <laughs> likes you, he will treat you as a woman. He will treat you with respect. Okay. And if you, you want, he will give you. And if y'all uh, play together, you, you can't go wrong. Thank okay. you, caller. Uh, thank All you. right, Carla. Thank you, we Carla. appreciate you. This, this is, was a lot. That this, was a lot. So let us dissect digest. this, Carla. We do appreciate you. Uh, she hung hey, up. You know what? These callers. This is oh like, this man. Is so after, <laughs> so Albie, before she called you, <laughs> started, started. <laughs> oh, so Lord. before she called you, let's touch let's, on some points. Talk on. So she talked about like I don't have to consult you with spending. I didn't know that that was a thing that girlfriends and boyfriends talk about spending. Why I am I telling money you all the time? But why am I consulting with you? If I want to buy something, I'm gonna buy something. If I need some money to go buy something, I think you should give it to me. Now wait a minute. What? If, what? If you need some money to do what? To go buy something. The drinks have definitely kicked in. So you you so. <laughs> So you get money from people for things that you want when you're dating? If you ask them for this money. If 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 I need it, if if that's what happens at that time. But it will only be someone who I was comfortable with but asking. Oh God, when do you need it? <laughs> exactly. But something may come up. I don't understand the question. I don't understand. So we're not going to ask do it. So you, I don't, don't want to. You ask him for money. And I'm not asking like all the time. But if I'm like, oh, I want to get this. Can you help me get this? Can you get this for me? Hmm. I don't think that's anything wrong with that. If you're asking me for stuff, like you might not be asking for anything financially. But if we're at a certain level and we're doing things for each other. It should be okay to ask for money. So let's go on to the next one. But I'm not discussing my spending habits. That's not that's or explaining my spending habits. That's not that's while not dating that. or girlfriend boyfriend. I got bad I went and I got bad spending habits. Like y'all listen, these things ain't cheap. <laughs> these ain't cheap. I don't eat cheap. <laughs> I don't travel cheap. You know, this is this, this is my life. And I don't expect anybody to maintain my life, but I also don't have expect you to pass any judgment on me for the way that I spend my money. I work hard for this money. My bills are paid around here. I ain't asked nobody to help me. My shit. bills are paid too. So don't ever they, don't ever say nothing about help my help is never unappreciated. So the next one, she talks about going out. She said, if I want to go out with my girls, I'm gonna go out with my girls. I'm not about to ask him. Who asks and can they go out? I didn't know that was a thing if you're not married. I don't ask, but I do ask, like, did you have plans because they want to go? I do say stuff like that. I don't think I've ever asked if somebody had plans for me because I would think that they would tell me they have plans for me in enough time to plan because they know I'm a plan if they don't have plans for me told. I, would, I live a real spontaneous lifestyle, so somebody, somebody could have thought they was going to surprise me. And I'd be like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm not one that I'm not used. Maybe I'm not used to surprises. I think I've had a couple surprises in my life, and they I don't know. But don't ask me. Don't expect me to say, "Hey, babe, you can I go out with my girls? You okay?" No, I'm never gonna say that. Now, if I get married, I can see myself saying, "Hey, me and the girls thought about going out." Like I may ask him if he's cool with that. No. I'm not about to say, baby, can I go out? I don't know if I'll ask for permission. I don't know what I'll ask when I'm married, but not as a girlfriend. Not while we're dating. Yeah, no. I just, and, but like you said, I'm used to surprise. I'm used to people surprising me. I'm used to people showing up like, hey, showing up like, 
when I say showing up, like call me on the phone, like, hey, I got something for us to do. Can you be ready That's by cute. some? I'm like, yeah. That doesn't work with me well because I, I because I am spontaneous, but I always typically have something to do a lot of times. See, see I gotta stop being busy. And like that's that's the difference, y'all know. I be in here chilling. I got all the streaming <laughs> networks like chilling. The bar here is always stocked. The bartender yes. like me in here, so what? Yes. Where I'm going? So yeah. All right. So we got some more comments. I'm going to call you fresh. I'm going to call you, but let's get through some of these comments. Maybe. Tamara said, Tamara, Tamara, Tamara it's, I'm sorry, Tamara. It's spelled different. I think it's the IA. Yeah. Um, but she wants to, she said, maybe we need definitions for boyfriend, girlfriend, which is going to be subjective. It is, but girlfriend, boyfriends, we say, hey, we committed to each other. We're not with anybody else, if that's what you want in a girlfriend, boyfriend. It's just us. So, like, it's real. We're working towards something more. So, we're working towards mm -hmm. the boyfriend proposing to yes. the girlfriend. We too old to just be boyfriend and girlfriends and just see We don't have to be boyfriend and girlfriend. We can be Marty and Sylvester. But then, I don't understand how that works. I, I need to know. I need specifics. I am a title person. I need to know what we're doing because I need to act accordingly. I, I'm going to act accordingly. If I don't have these guidelines, really? I may not act accordingly. So I need certain things to act accordingly. And see, and you need the titles and yes. the things to act accordingly. And I don't want them. So I can just go out here unmanaged and be like, <laughs> damn, I didn't even know I couldn't do that. But you, but if you had them, you would act accordingly. So don't give them to me. So I could just keep going out here and making blunders. <laughs> like, oh, she know I'm supposed to do that. Dang, baby, I didn't know. I didn't know. Hmm. You I won't do it, it again. Boyfriend can get first dibs depending on what it is. Um, I want both said. Now, did you read this? What both said? Mm -hmm. I think the line should be drawn from girlfriend to wife when personal finances are involved. Some people are naturally very domesticated. Maybe so. Some people some people enjoy doing domesticated things. Yeah. 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 So I may I do. Don't. I see I'm very domesticated. I'm not. I can't I think I was over domesticated as a child. <laughs> and now I don't want to. I shy away from it. I think my parents had me cleaning too much. So this is a trauma response. This is trauma. I got PTSD. <laughs> you all know how much I used to clean, how long it used to take me, how often I used to clean, especially when my sister left for college. <laughs> then it was all on me. And right now, I always say when I got older, I'm going to hire me somebody to clean. <laughs> it's certain things I had trauma about that now I am excessive with. So I don't really clean. I hire someone to clean, but I have all the skills to clean. See, but a guy is never going to see my house dirty as long as I have. And as time. for me, I probably had the same amount of domesticated work as a child. But guess what? In my mind, I believe that's the only way I'm. It's going to be acceptable for me. Oh, I said. Oh no, my parents used to tell me when you can pay the cost and be the boss, you are. <laughs> So guess what? I got old enough where I said, how much How much you charge for that hour? Man? Okay, let me give you a, a maximum of five hours today. So I need you to clean whatever you can in these five hours because this is all I got. No, and, you know, like for me, it's, um, it's therapy. Like cleaning is therapy to me so I can think real clear when oh. I'm cleaning. And, yeah, Baby, like, I think real clear when I'm laying in my bed and she's doing my house. <laughs> I do. I think clear. I'm able to come up with plans. I'm able to... I will clean my she room does. while she cleans my house. She does. I can testify to this. Sometimes we have had whole calls <laughs> and she's like, yeah, she in there cleaning. I'm like... <laughs> I got time to think. Okay. See, I'm so busy. Okay. <laughs> I have food, you know. I get the, not. I forgot to cancel. Hello, fresh. It came. I'm getting, going off on a tangent. Sorry. It came yesterday, so now I gotta cook this week. It's okay. It's only they only give you uh, two meals. Oh, so you got it down to two? <laughs> Sheesh. 
<laughs> because it's, I've been wasting it. What? It's been wasting it. My, do you know I have like seven meals <laughs> in my refrigerator? So what I do is I have them and I put, took out all the ingredients. I put them in these little storage things in my refrigerator and I tore the brown bag and put it in there so I know what ingredients this is for and just throw away the ingredients that went bad. So I know what I, yeah. Because I be wasting food because I don't cook. Sorry. When, it's therapeutic for you. Fresh, you can go to the grocery store for me. Um, Listen. Yeah. Sorry, it was it was sharing your time. My parents, they ruined me by having me clean so much. No, I no, no, no. I I'm just like like he said, I'm just very domesticated. Like some of the stuff that excites other girls, it don't excite me. What excites me is stuff like cast iron cookware, you know. <laughs> like that doesn't excite me. Like for Christmas, I'm a size kitchen aid professional grade mixer. That's what I that's what I want for Christmas. Uh, copper or black if you out there listening um, <laughs> um that those are the things that I, I like sheets i like i like sheets i like bath towels I, I like that towels. stuff that's the stuff i like you know i like like pretty stuff i like strolling the aisle the uh laundry aisle at target to see what's the new uh unstoppable sense yeah what is unstoppable them the little beads yeah i'm not using them um can i get some um arm armor <laughs> and some pure x and some downy sheets and that's it that's all i need i mean and some bleach i'm i'm real like i don't yeah mm. yeah no. i wish the girl would wash my clothes but i have i'm funny about people washing my clothes kyra said you can give her the food kyra it's like i could but it wouldn't be enough for your family but it would be maybe uh her husband could take it to lunch but he gotta cook it well she can cook it for him for the lunch well, I ain't mean to make it on job, but maybe she can make the meal for him so it don't go to waste. We didn't got off on the tangent. We didn't got off on the tangent. No, no, sorry, off on so the yeah, so the girlfriend things. Yes. So what are the girl? What? So as a girlfriend, what do you do that you feel is acceptable? Mm-hmm. We see each other a lot. Is that like I see you a lot? I think that I him? think that's too much. Huh? I think that's too much. What's too much? I don't think you. When you dating, I don't think you should see the other person a lot. So that's why I say when I'm your girlfriend, I see you all the time. No. But when you're dating, you start to see each other more because you're increasing, like you're really starting to like each other. And how much is too much? What's a lot? It depends on the person. So some people are needy. Some people are not. That's why you have to get with somebody that likes the same amount. I like attention. I like to see the person that I'm dealing with. Do you? So I like to deal with people who like to spend time together. I, I like sp attention. I like space and attention. <laughs> so, you know, give me enough space, but call me. You know, text me. We can have space. I lay on one end of the couch. No, you lay like, on the other. I'll like just have some my days, face like touching. create put some days in there. Like it can be, but when I want to see you, I want to see you. Um, yeah, I no. If I'm with you and we together, and we together, can it ever be too much? Yes, it can. Mm. I remember I was dating someone like we was in a full blown relationship, and he had been in my place for four days. And I, I called mm. my sister like, he got to get out of here. Yeah, now that that I'd be like, oh, you. Then I'd be like, oh, I'm going over my people. While I was like, like you got to get like, out of here. Like I went and sat out in my car just so I could talk to my sister. But it can be as simple as us. We did. Oh, we did lunch today. So I'm not seeing them at night or the next day. Like, oh, we did this. I don't know. I, if I like you, I like to be in your space. I like to be in your presence. Yeah. If um, I don't like you, I won't. Um. Uh, Fresh, do you want to do you want to join a call? You want to be called, or you you over it now? Because we still haven't figured out what's what's going on. What you so, say? And I'm trying to think. Uh, what? What you trying to think about? I going back to last week with a phone check is just legal in the marriage, but not girlfriend boyfriend. No, no. I don't think it's ever. It's it's never legal. Nowhere. So I don't know. Even the police have to get a subpoena before they can go on your phone. Of the day. So <laughs> he said, "Come on, call okay. him." All right. He said, "Unmanaged was the word of the day." Not controlled or regulated. Not That's controlled. Just how I like to be out here in the streets. 
If you want me unmanaged, I don't mind being unmanaged. Well, I don't like to be managed. So that's like the not the right word. I like being. I don't like being unmanaged. I do. I like it. That's a lot, Bo. Modern women do like relationships. It's just oh. difficult for them to find relationships. See, he, he, he watching that guy. You see he watching Kevin that guy. Samuels. He watching Kevin Samuels. Hello, ladies. Hello, hey. Carl. You on the air. What up, though? Yeah, so, okay, so I just wanted to say this. When you're trying to, it, it depends on where you're trying to be at with the man. If you're trying, if you're trying to potentially move, move into a committed relationship and ultimately get married, you got to check the body. You got to say, I mean, you got to, women are calculated, so I think y'all already know this. I think that you have to say, okay, this is what I want. I want him to be my man and be my husband. So you start doing, uh, you start making a calculated effort to do the things that typically make this guy want to be with you and only you. Okay, so we, we move calculated to make the guy want to be with us and only us. The, 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 last, the, the last girl that was up in here, she knew what she was doing. She started screwing my brains out. Oh, Lord her. Jesus. This is a this is a this is a PG uh situation here. Uh, that's what I said. Okay. Okay. She was doing things that made me like her more and more, and things to make it so that I did not want to share. Oh. I you want her anyway. So you said she was doing stuff so you didn't want to share her. So it's like, let me lock this down and make her mad. Sunday afternoon, after she did stuff, I like sat on the bench and said, "Hey, look, I wanted to just be up." Dang, really? That's cute. Well, I wonder. I wonder if anybody ever sat on the bench and said that about me, and then I ghosted them. <laughs> But it's like the ones that be sitting on the bench and say it. Do you really want them? Huh? Body is confused because you want spotention. No, no. I, they got a word for it. Spotention. I just learned it. I want space and attention. But, but that's, that's like an oxymoron. No, no. It's, it's, it's really, it really works for me. Like, I want, I want to be in my space. <laughs> but I want you to call me and check on me and stuff like that. Don't got to come over. So you don't want to see the person, but you want to know that they're there. Yeah. But I, bet, but I, don't know, I know for a fact it's part of my daddy issues. What? So you didn't see your daddy, you just talked to I him. knew where my father, I always knew where my father was, even though we weren't, like, this is, this in is, communication. This is deeper than I thought. Yeah. So, Shit. The yeah. Well, thank you for calling. Thank you, Fresh. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for All having right. me. All right. Okay, so we didn't figure out some new technology. We have what technology? Oh, the phone. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be interesting when we listen to this and play this back to see how it works. How it works. To see if we can still. Did y'all hear the people? Let us know if y'all heard them. So this this is interesting. I don't think we have a clear answer. I don't think there is a real clear I answer. Don't. I think that's crack of shit that y'all be selling us it single is. women about what we should and shouldn't be doing. Because no one knows. Because guess what? Half the people that's probably in relationships is married ain't happy. Because here, here's the other thing. You could be telling me, well, don't be doing massages and helping him and all that. But what if he likes massages? what if he likes massages? Then I'm a massages back, damn it. What if he work at the plant and stand out on that super Hello. flow? Baby, hear me, little feet. I'm about to go make you a pedicure thing of magic. Make you <laughs> some water. Some water. Give you a pedicure. <laughs> what? Stop. But see, this is what I learned, too. What? You don't be asking a lot of people what you should do in relationships. Nope. You just do it. Because a lot of times people are giving, and they, they mean well, but mm -hmm. they're giving you their their opinion based on their from their experience. Uh, yes. Thank you for filling it in. Yes. Because I was lost. Because my dad told me, and it's just my dad. I'm telling you, he a little, he a little out there. But my dad told me, as long as me and the person I was with created the rules, nobody could judge nobody. us. Nobody. And that's how I'm operating my life. Me too. It, it's about us. It's about it's us. Whatever we say, 
that goes and guess what i'm not telling anybody everything so they don't even know what's going no. on because opinions i don't i don't need them no because it works for us so yeah i don't know what he's saying under there i'm about to i'm about to take the little that, banner that off be good because he didn't pull my whole name off that oh he sure did more and more women feel like we, we but be with a guy when she ready I mean, you know. But you're supposed to but be with somebody when you're ready. When I'm ready. But make sure they understand. So that's what communication and comes Yeah, because I was about to say, it's generally not always about when I want to be with a person because I have to, You like you said, we have to communicate. So when he want to see me or they want to see me, you know, we get together. So that's the pronouns we're using. <laughs> yeah. I should just start using they anyway. They, yes. <laughs> we, have, we have students that will use they. They. Just and that's what they, that's their pronoun. They want to be called they. Yeah. So I'm going to use they too. Yeah. They. <laughs> they. It works. It works. It works for me. You figure it out. I know. But then I'm going to forget and say he, she, <laughs> it, them, we were. <laughs> oh, well. But so. We we have come to the conclusion that there is no there is no definitive definitive line except combining finances and stuff like that. Yeah. No asking for permission. No when you're in, in a relationship if you're not married. Um uh, I don't I don't see anything else. I, I and this is just me. I I'm not with that whole living together situation. I'm against it, but I did it. I did it before. Try we tr we said let's try this. Okay. And I'm single, so it didn't work. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't. I wouldn't do it again mm -hmm. unless we like engage. Yeah, yeah. And we moving together to stay. I wouldn't. No, nah, that's that's not the thing to do. No. So no, we're not about to practice or play. No, no, because it's gonna be the real thing. Because, you know, I. Although we see a lot of people moving away from traditional marriages and things, I have a shit ton of friends that have been married for a long time. Mm -hmm. Like I get this over ten years, over five years. And I'm always amazed and I you know, I applaud them and they got something right. So it's you know, sometimes it's just not for everybody. And there are some really happy relationships. Yeah. Out there. And um, there are some. relationships that are working on their own terms. And it could be some that, to me, look terrible, but to them, they are happy, they are happy. as whatever. Yeah. And that's okay. And because it's all about them. So, yeah. my word is, just do you. Do whatever works for you and your partner. Yes. Yes. And don't get caught up in somebody telling you what you should be doing with your partner. Just talk to them. That's it. Yeah. Uh, that's it. That's and if you don't have a partner, just go out here and be unmanaged. Be unmanaged. <laughs> just be, be unmanaged. unmanaged. It works. So, and then if y'all decide to make it official, just know how to act accordingly. <laughs> and that discussion on it needs to be a discussion on what is acting accordingly. There needs to be a discussion. Because there are certain things. Like, who? what about curfews? No. No curfews? No. Married, yes. You think so? Yes. If I'm married, you're not about to be walking in no 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Meet me outside. <laughs> I mean. No. Illegal. It's illegal to come in the house. Well, I mean, it's, it's not illegal. Really nothing open. Why are you that late? Why? I don't know. Is this no reason? It is the reason. It's we too reasons. old to be going to the clubs and the bars, it's so we're not big close reasons. to the it's, <laughs> it's three big reasons why somebody would come in at 4 o'clock. What? MGM, Greek Town, and Motor City. You better come in with a bag. <laughs> Maybe a whole it. bag <laughs> so I won't be mad. Because if you don't come in with a bag, if you lost it, if you was there that long and you lost it, you done lost a lot in this one night. <laughs> you done lost a lot in this Some one people night. like to go to the casino. Mm -mm. I dated like 
You dated a gambler? Yes. The he taught me how to gamble. Which what? Blackjack and uh craps. Oh yeah. Yeah. Crap tab was dangerous. But I didn't like that. Like even though I knew how, I ain't like he was a gambler. Where you at? Casino. Uh where was you at? The casino. Lying ain't nobody at the casino that much. But you could really The people be in there. Be in there. I don't be believing shit though. They don't be knowing what day it is. I don't think manage unmanaged and managed are the same thing. No, we looked up the definition. It's it's really not. Managed is so different. Managed is what we should be doing. It's not controlled or regulated. Casinos are adjacent to hotels. Look at that. Hell to the no on casino. See, he was glad at the casino. I bet you was. But was you in the hotel part? I don't even know. Listen, Listen, he talking about adjacent. He's so smart. Talking about adjacent. Y'all throwing these big words out. What? So, so yeah. So, we tried to solve the uh mystery, ladies. We did, and gentlemen, we did. We did. We did. Just do what works for you. Yeah. Do it respectfully. Mm-hmm. That's all we can say. At the end of the day, shit. It's all about you. You think? So? Yeah. That that's it. That it, it is like. So. Well. I, don't know. I think that's about it. I think it is. We have a big show coming in December. Very big show. Our last show for 2021 will be, we'll let y'all know. Did we say like the 19th or something? The 19th. The 19th will be our last show for this season. Yes. We, we like are. doing seasons. We do. Um, and that's going to be our family show. Yes. Um, so we're going to have my sister will be returning as well as her sisters will be here as well. So that is going to be an interesting, a mix. very interesting, uh, <laughs> sure. It's going to be very interesting. We probably <laughs> will cut out some of the segments that we have in the show. <laughs> so they can just talk. So they can talk because she got Kyra and then I got, the philosophical one is Isha. Like Isha wants to go into like, you know, our microaggressions and how this is affecting us. Uh-huh. But Sean want to get to the brass tacks and stuff. Sean want to, you know, she a straight, straight shooter. So and you get that all from Kyra, and then you got me and Marty, exactly. Marty and I. And generally, and what you'll see is probably the I'm same thing that happened to her when Kyra was on the show with her. She'll be quiet, but I'll be quiet too because when them two get to going, and then they'll have Kyra, and maybe we can just sit back. We'll just just sit back and just listen. Can we make a nighttime show? We may do something nighttime. Who knows? Can we? (gasps) What if? Oh, the holiday one is a nighttime show. No, I was just thinking like, what if we do like just a random laugh one day with our family? I may go laugh with Kyra and my mama. Remember, I did that before. Yes, that would be. Awesome. <laughs> I actually thought about putting my mom. He said it needs to be on. The only unsister shows I will be on will not be on YouTube. So we do an unsister show. It'll be like a Facebook Live uncensored. See and see her type of uncensored is totally different from my clan because if I have my mom on the show, you're gonna be like, that's where she get it from because my mom is like straight like. Fuck this. Fuck this. Like she I would bang, love bang. for your mama and my mama to be on the show bang, together. Bang. Girl, the that perfect would pairs be, mom. Like that would be hilarious. Let's do that. Let's make that a show would with be them. Hilarious. Cause my mom would like she it. She it. I would love to see her <laughs> old with my mama. That would that would make for interesting TV. We might have to charge for that though. <laughs> That's pay per view. And uh, my mom don't drink. Oh, she she'll have she'll have like a glass of wine, but she don't drink. So she, all of that be unfiltered, oh. like straight off the top. Well, me and my mama will be drinking. <laughs> As for me and my mama, we will have a drink of three. Mm-mm, no, my mom, she, like I will probably have to drink wine that day. Oh, because she don't. I bring, but my you own. know. So, but yeah, so yeah, we're gonna have that in December. Yeah. Um, what else we got coming up? Um, black. I'm having a Black Friday sale. She's having a Black Friday. So sale. she's pressnails.com on Black Friday. I don't know what the sale I'm having, but I'll have some new sets out, and we'll have our little girl sets. Anything else? Um, if we don't see you all anymore this week, yeah, we want to say 
Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. It is this week. It's Thursday. So is it clear to say that you're not cooking nothing for the Thanksgiving meal? Oh, Thanksgiving is held at my house. Hello, I cook. It's at my house. I don't do everything. Every year, Thanksgiving is Chandra's, it's Tangerine's holiday. Just throw the whole show away. It's all your fault. <laughs> So let me let's talk about this, y'all. Let's talk about this in the last couple of minutes. So when we put this, when we put this, when we put this show together, she said, "I'm going to go ask Tangerine." I said, "Okay, I'll be Marty." Last couple, I don't know if it's a full moon. She just been like, yeah, like I say my name almost every show. Every show I almost I think I say my name. Because it's so hard for me. It is so very difficult. So I'm gonna ask you a question. When you're out in the street and you introduce yourself, you introduce yourself with your government name. (laughs) And when you order your food, you put your government name, don't you? I'm Marty everywhere. But wait, it has been times where I will say my alias tangerine but then i may forget what i use so i tell y'all it's hard for me to laugh so, you, so, you, so it easily comes out my real name I am out or a variation of it i am out done I, I gotta do better because so many people call me tangerine so i should always say it but I forget. But I am. I like it though. I really like Tangerine. I need to get a name tag. I'm gonna get a shirt to say, "Hey, I'm Tangerine." I'm gonna get a shirt. Make a shirt. Make me a Tangerine shirt. It's gonna be cute. I'm gonna have to have some something. But yeah, I'm gonna get a shirt that says Tangerine. I might even get like a little card. Y'all may come next week and see. It's gonna be a little something facing me with just my name. And it just, just say Tangerine. No, it says you are Tangerine. <laughs> Hi, my name is my name is so. Tangerine. I gotta remember that. We had a so whole difficult. tutorial about this at the beginning. We did show. Tangerine, Tang, Tangy. I don't tang. know, folks. And guess what? It's up on the screen throughout right. our entire. It show. sure is. I don't read it. I read the comments, and then they put my real name in the comments too. I can't win for loser. Hmm. Good thing I'm doing <laughs> nothing wrong in real life. <laughs> Nobody's looking for me, so. But no, this was this was a good show, even though I'm still as confused as before we started. But I guess the answer is do what makes you happy. Yeah. And I think they was just talking BS. They just wanted to talk just to be talking. Because the because it, the blame wants to fall on the blame wants to fall on us. Yeah, it does. It wants to the blame wants to fall on us, but we know the real. We know the real. We know what's going on. I gotta on. get this vein together. Maybe I need to cut it. It's driving me crazy. It keeps falling. No, I don't think the cutting is the issue. No, I need to tilt my head this way most of the time. Yeah, that might work. work. That might work. (laughs) All right, y'all. So we thank y'all for tuning in. We'll be back next week. We'll be back next week. Numbers are rising out of control with COVID. So please continue to practice safety and wear your mask. Please. Wash your hands. If you have a reusable mask. Remember, remember to socially distance when mm. you're out in the stores. And wonder if y'all had masks on at the Nas concert that everybody was at but us. But us, we were the only oh, ones that didn't know. go. To, well, she was in a helicopter ride. I, can, I was looking down at these hoes. I can tell you for sure what I was doing. <laughs> I got quite involved in several documentaries, and um, I as you, oh, documentaries, bad. Yeah, so. All right, good people. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. We'll be back next week. Your two favorite people at 2 o'clock. So, what? don't forget, <laughs> make a shake and enjoy a martini. And buy your cheese pressed nails. And have a good one. And wear a mask, fresh. You didn't make me mad. All right, yeah, we'll talk man. to y'all later. See All right. y'all later. Bye, y'all. We need some outro. Anybody want to make us some outro oh, music? No, I need to call that. 
Yes. So if y'all want to make us some like outro or intro music, let us know. We need something so when we hit it, it had like the music and then we'll dance off we'll dance. the set. We really won't, but it just sounds cute at the time. All right. So cool. All right. See y'all later. <laughs> cool. And it had, like, oh, the whoa. Music, and then we'll dance.